Alrighty, here we go again. There's the next one. Next, 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 next. Uh, topic is going to be the discriminant. We want to say utilize the discriminant to determine the nature of the quadratic solutions. So, what is the discriminant formula? The discriminant formula states blah, 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 blah. B squared minus 4ac. There you go. It's B squared minus 4ac. There is your formula. If ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0 and a is not equal to 0, then you can say B squared minus 4ac is the discriminant. Okay. So, there are four possibilities for the discriminant. If it's less than zero, you get two complex imaginary roots. If it's equal to zero, you get one real rational root. And if it's greater than zero, there's two possibilities there. Either it's a perfect square, which means you could take the square root of it and it would come out even, which would give you two real rational roots, or it's not a perfect square, which gives you two real irrational roots. Now, if you go back to the previous um, <coughs> notes, you would see those four examples there. All four of those examples are in uh, an example of, of the notes. Oh, vey, I got a little tongue-tied there. So how does this work? Well, let's go through these possibilities. Here's an example. 7x, goodness, that's going slow. 7x minus 11x plus 5 equals 0. So a is 7, b is negative 11, and c is 5. Plug that in into the discriminant. And you're going to basically just do some calculations. I get an answer of negative 19. That right there is my discriminant. So the, if I were to ask for the discriminant, you would tell me it's negative 19. Now, based on that discriminant, what kind of answer am I getting? Or what, what is the nature of these answers? What kind of answers would this quadratic give me? Well, they would give me two complex roots, which is basically two imaginary. Okay. The reason why we say complex is because we start saying like a number plus or minus an i something. So that's why it's complex. If it was just the i, it's imaginary, but when we add like a number plus or minus an i, it's complex. So two complex roots. Another example. <clears throat> Here I got 22, 121, a is 1, b is 22, c is 121. Plug them in. Do your calculations. Notice that you get a discriminant of 0. So this time the discriminant is equal to zero. And then that would tell you one real rational root. Forgot to put the word rational, but there you go. So it's kind of like that. It works out fairly well. Next example. These examples are fairly easy, if you notice. They're not very hard. A, a bit of a, good grief. Okay, so A is negative 5, B is 8, C is negative 1. Plug them in. And again, notice that this is also the number that was in the square root. Okay, so 44. So this time my discriminant is 44. Now, take the square root of 44. You get a decimal answer. So there, there is no perfect square because, let's see, 6 squared is 36, 7 squared is 49. So that's between 36 and 49. So 44 is not a perfect square, which means you would have two irrational roots. What that means is that if you were to give me a decimal answer, technically you're getting a decimal answer that would go on forever and ever and ever without repeating. Hence the reason why I prefer to have a simplified radical form because that represents the most accurate answer. Okay, so that would be like a problem that you would have to do, try to see if you could simplify if you're doing the quadratic equation, quadratic formula, sorry. And then finally, my last example here, 15x squared plus minus 7x minus 4, plug it in, <clears throat> you get this. 49 plus 240, that's 289. Now, again, is 289 is my discriminant. That is the discriminant. Well, if you take the square root of that, you find out you get 17. So that means 289 is a perfect square. So that means this right here, I'm going to erase this a bit, this discriminant is a perfect square. So that means it's two real rational roots. Okay, so... Now, keep in mind, and uh, let me go through here real quick, add a little bit to this. When we look at the quadratic formula and say x is equal to negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4 times a times c, all that over 2a, this right here is your discriminant. This is telling you what you can do with some of the answers. Okay, so keep that in mind. I mean... Can you simplify it? Is it irrational or is it going to be complex? Is it something I can come up with two answers, regular number answers for, stuff like that? And that's really about it. So this really hopefully shouldn't be hard. Uh, and there you go.
if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Thank you very much for your time. Uh, I hope you enjoy this.